Today, the Paralympics come to an end. In total, 4,403 athletes, representing 160 countries, competed against 22 sports in 23 disciplines. Each of these world-class athletes have a physical challenge of some sort. Runners with vision impairments, basketball players in wheelchairs, swimmers missing limbs. Anyone who watched could not help but see the incredible sportsmanship and be inspired by this remarkable spectacle of the best of humanity. Started in 1948, the Paralympics today is a worldwide phenomenon. Less well known is the very inspirational Jewish story of its founder and the lessons it offers us as we prepare to enter into the High Holidays. The Paralympics developed after Dr. Ludwig Gutmann, a renowned surgeon and expert on spinal cord injuries, organized a sports competition for British World War II veterans with spinal cord injuries in England. A follow-up competition took place in 1952 with athletes from the Netherlands joining, and the rest is Olympic history. But that's only part of the story. Dr. Gutmann was a committed Jew, born in Germany. He received his medical training at the University of Breslau. Observing that spinal cord injuries were seen as a death sentence at the time, Dr. Gutmann devoted himself to finding a better way and following graduation became one of the leading neurosurgeons in Germany. But then came Kristallnacht and with it the unofficial beginning of the Holocaust. That night Gutmann saw his synagogue set afire and returned to tend to the injured at the hospital. That night, he also admitted an additional 64 Jews hiding out from the Nazis. When questioned by the Gestapo as to how it was possible that so many were admitted that night, Dr. Gutmann courageously created a medical reason for each person. Gutmann and his family escaped to England, where he continued his life-saving work with those injured in the war and became an innovator in the treatment of patients with spinal cord injuries. He innovated by getting the patients out of their beds out of, and put them in wheelchairs, which was unheard of at the time. He knew that if the patient's sense of self went unattended, that all of his efforts would be for nothing. He hit on the idea of an athletic competition for those bound to a wheelchair. The first sport was archery, and thus the Paralympics were born. With the end of the Paralympics co coinciding with the beginning of Rosh Hashanah, I began thinking about how aligned Dr. Gutman's thinking is with the themes of the High Holidays. Part of my inspiration came from a talk that Rabbi Jonathan Sachs, Zichrono Livracha, gave on the subject a few years back. The first lesson is never give up on a person. Where did Dr. Gutman learn to never give up on his patients? Our tradition celebrates a God who never gives up on us. The God that we believe in knows that we are imperfect. But according to our liturgy, the creator of all never gives up on the idea that we can change. That we're capable of coming closer to being the person God believes us to be. The second lesson is that people are capable of greatness. Our tradition teaches that we are created in the image of God and when that spark of the Almighty is ignited, we can do amazing things. The process of self-discovery that these athletes go through in order to compete is not all that different from the introspection of tshuva. The willingness to believe that we can look within, attach ourselves to something higher and find 
the strength to move forward to reach new heights is also the foundation of the Yamim Noraim, the High Holidays. And finally, together we are capable of redemption. Dr. Gutman created a worldwide movement. The Paralympics represents one of those moments when the best of us is on display and serves as a reminder that together we are capable of gi'ula, of redeeming the world. That's the notion behind the Tekiah Gedola that we hear on Rosh Hashanah, the last note of the shofar for Yom Kippur. A Jew must never, ever lose hope in what we can accomplish together. A God who never gives up on us so that we must never give up on ourselves or each other. The wondrous power implanted in each human being. The redemption that is possible when we join hands. These are the very Jewish lessons from our tradition that Dr. Ludwig Gutmann reminds us of today. May we continue to be inspired by the example of the athletes that competed in the Paralympic Games. May we continue to be inspired by the remarkable example of Dr. Gutmann. And together, may we embrace the possibilities that await each of us in the new year. On behalf of Janet and our entire family, on behalf of our clergy and staff and their families, we wish the Anche Emmet family a Shana Tova U Mituka, a very happy, sweet, and joyous New Year. <laughs>